and good morning to all of you. It's a brisk morning here in Florida, um, especially for Floridians. Uh, we're getting ready to uncover all the plants because as you can see, those ones over there, um, they're covered up because it was that cold out here. Um, so it, I think it got down to around freezing um, and the plants here, they're orange, plant, orange trees and stuff and they're still saplings so they're not really able to handle the cold all too well. All right, I got done cutting stuff down and I actually just now got out of the shower. Um, I'm going to throw these things, uh, this GPS and then um, this car charger, I'm going to throw it in the truck um, just because I had left my GPS um, in the room on accident and I forgot to take it out last time I was going to use this truck. And then same with this uh, car charger, so I'm just going to throw it in the truck really quick. Now my truck's check engine light, as you can see right there, has come on over the time I was gone. Um, so I'm going to just really quickly look under the hood, see if there's anything like like obviously uh, messed up or something. Uh, my dad had, uh, had had the idea of um, maybe it's an uh, oxygen sensor because he looked it up and they were saying that that was an issue with the 1999 trucks. Um, so that's definitely mine. But I don't think it's ever been replaced. So if it's 18 years old, that's definitely Toyota for you. So I'm just going to see really quickly um, what it looks like under there. And then um, it's if I can't find anything physically wrong with it, um, I'm going to later tonight go to Advanced Auto Parts, not too far from our house. Um, I'm going to have them do a diagnostics check, see if there's anything wrong with it. I'm sure they'll find it, but um, yeah, I just want to figure out what the issue is. I don't know, it's acting fine, no strange smells or anything, um, so I'm not too sure. Um, so it's got to be that oxygen sensor. I don't doubt him, I definitely don't because it's a high possibility, um, especially since I don't think it's ever been replaced, as I was saying, um, and it's an 18 year old truck, so um, yeah, I don't know when the last time it's been replaced. Um, the previous owner didn't say anything about it, he didn't say he had any issues with it, so that leads to me to me to believe that it's never been touched, so that's kind of amazing. Yeah, throttle response is fine. Everything seems fine. There's no sweet smells coming out of the exhaust, um, so it's not leaking coolant or anything. So I, I think it's I think it's all right. Um, it's it's got to be that oxygen sensor. That's what I'm betting on. It got dark quick. Um, I'm leaving now. I'm gonna go have the diagnostic check um, at Advanced Auto Parts. I'm just gonna do it really quick because it's free, um, and they're they're just down the street a little ways, so. Um, I'm gonna drive down there really quick, um, have them do the diagnostics check, and then I'll be back home, um, probably right in time for dinner. Back home, um, the people there, they were saying that uh, it, it was, um, they ran the code and the code that came up on the um, engine was um, bank, bank one, system bank one, too lean or something like that. Um, that and it basically meant um, that the, that there was too much, uh, in, too much fuel going in with the oxygen mixture because that's the way an engine works. Um, it mixes oxygen, um, the O2, and um, the fuel, and it burns that, um, and then the exhaust ex uh, gets rid of the excess, whatever's left over. Um, and he was saying that it was running too lean, so it wasn't burning up all of the fuel, um, which isn't a massive problem, it's just running through more fuel, I guess. Um, but he said that uh, basically that could be an oxygen sensor issue. Um, it sounds like it could be, but um, we're gonna replace it at some point maybe. Um, I don't know, I'll have to talk to my dad, but um, it, we're probably going to replace it, and if it comes out to being the oxygen sensor and we fixed it, then that's all it is. Alright, the plan of action for tomorrow is to take out the air, uh, the, the, um, air intake. Um, and clean the uh, the MAF sensor because that was one thing I went to a, a ton of different um, 
uh, kind of forums and everything, and so many people were saying that I should try to first clean out the MAF system, the um, the, the mass airflow uh, sensor, because that is a possibility that when it gets dirty, it could cause the um, light to go, and it'll actually give out the same code, because um, it's kind of a general code, so... Um, sadly, there's no exact, like, kind of thing for it. Um, so I'm going to try that tomorrow. That shouldn't take too long, maybe 30 minutes. But if that doesn't work, we have to look for a whole new O2 sensor. And if you're going to buy brand new, they're like $100. So I plan on maybe going to Craigslist to find, like, one that was wrecked or something, like a Tacoma that was wrecked, and, um, getting the, uh, the O2 sensor out of that one, or going to Salvage Yard and finding a, uh, so finding one for like ten bucks. So that's a, either one of those is better than chilling out a hundred dollars. Like I said, tomorrow I'm going to clean the mass airflow sensor, see if that's the issue. Um, if that's not it, then it's got to be that O2 sensor because it's actually the same exact code that it would have thrown out for the one that I got earlier tonight. Um, but I'm going to have to call it here because it's getting up, it's getting straight up to 2 o'clock in the morning. I didn't even realize the time. But um, anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video today. Um, by the way, I made some brownies. Um, they were pretty good. But anyways. Good night to all of you, and see all of you in the morning tomorrow.